Um, well, we started going originally about 1978, um, playing locally in a place called Gloucestershire in England, and then uh, built up from there, you know, when we met uh, a band called Marillion. Um, we did quite a lot of shows with them. This is before they became very well known. I uh, did a lot of shows with Marillion, which sort of built up our audience. Um, and then there, with their manager, um, he started a record label uh, called Elusive Records, for which we recorded a couple of records, the Fly High, Fall Far, and an album called The Jewel. And uh, it sort of built up from there. You know, we got Reading Festival, and uh, we got played on the Friday Rock Show, which is the big, was the big uh, radio show in the UK. And then sort of about the middle of the 80s, we started getting more and more into Europe. And uh, it just went on from there. Mm. Uh, what are your previous albums like uh, compared to, to the Masquerade Overture album? Well, it seems to be um, you know, a very definite uh, course that the last three albums have uh, taken. I mean, namely The World, The Window of Life and uh, The Masquerade. Um, probably because they were the first... Uh, creative albums on our own record label. Uh, we we did start our own record label in about 1987, and um, we re-released all the old. We managed to get the rights back to all our old albums, which we re-released on our own label. And then we sat down and said, "Well, it's time for a new album," and that was the World album. Um, I mean, at that point, you know, we stopped really. Uh, trying to get it because we stopped trying to get a major record deal and uh, you know we found that we were more kind of inclined to want to play more musicy music rather than uh, you know try and get a commercial sound uh, you know we we took this kind of style and funnily enough it also was the most commercial successful commercially successful as well Mm. Uh, this new CD, The Masquerade Overture, uh, it's uh, a concept album, right? Yes, it yeah. is. It's all about uh, one person's fight between good and evil, um, you know, from the time they're born until the time they die, um, the influences that are upon them, you know, throughout their life that make them, uh, you know, take certain paths. It's a bit like throwing the dice and, uh, you know, taking one one route or another route, you know, and it's, uh, I, I, I believe the kind of, you know, lives of people are sort of kind of mapped out, but they can be changed, you know, it's, it's a, like a game in a way, mm. and that's what the album's about. What do you mean by the title, The Masquerade Overture? Well, The Masquerade Overture was, um, the cover and everything is influenced by Venice, um, St. Mark's Square, um, which I, when I, I went, I visited there a few years ago and found it very inspiring. And I thought that, uh, you know, they have this these uh, masquerade balls where they all put on the masks. And I thought that was a good way of kind of uh, putting across this idea of, you know, a lot of things that you see as being good or evil are very often hidden behind a mask of something else. You know, it's very much an illusion. And that's another kind of angle to this album, you know, that, uh, you know, what we perceive as good and evil is often very, very much hidden behind an illusion of something else. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, the way that we follow people and, uh, you know, listen to their ideas and then that person turns out to be not so great is one example. I mean, someone like Adolf Hitler is a sort of prime example of that. People followed someone like that, believing that uh, they were going to be uh, the right person. And, of course, you know, it, 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 it was uh, an illusion. There is uh, something uh, written inside the CD booklet in, uh, in Italian, I guess. Yeah. Uh, what does that say? Well, it's basically a translation of the um, the first few bar, uh, first few uh, verses of um, "As Good as Gold." So it's the same as that, uh, you know, as the stars begin to fall away. Uh, it's the same kind of thing, but in Italian, with a few extra words in it to make it sort of scan properly. I mean, obviously, being in a different language, it doesn't always fit. <laughs> uh, just to translate it, you know, you've got to kind of work it around a little bit. Uh, where in the world uh, are you most uh, popular? Where do you sell most records? Well, uh, Holland's quite a good place. Um, it's always been quite a stronghold, but, uh, you know, the places I guess we sell most records are probably England, Germany, France, and Holland. But, I mean, there's a lot of other places as well, you know, when we tour and we play in places like Italy or Spain or 
I mean, we played in America last November, and you know they're all they're all very very good. I mean, they're all about the same. Um, you know, because it's a kind of cult sort of music. Uh, you know, it doesn't have the uh, the exposure that uh, you know, like a commercial band might have. Uh, you know, on that basis, you know, we kind of have to work, you know, quite hard to get uh, through to a lot of people. Mm. So it's not a kind of really big thing, but uh, you know, around all the world, you know, there are pockets of people in just about every single country, you know, and uh, they, you know, who who are just as enthusiastic as the next country. Mm. You go, you go on tour as uh, a headliner. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we very rarely do supports. Um, we used to in the early days, but uh, you know, we got to the point where we felt that it wasn't really, uh, you know, we could do a much better show uh, with less people. You know, convince less people. Uh, you know, sometimes is better. You you are uh, the front man in the band. Uh, is the rest of the band a, a permanent uh, lineup? Um, yeah, pretty much. I mean, this in the early days we have very many changes. Um, you know, which you always do. I think with the early days of a band. But I mean, this lineup's been together over, sort of over ten years now. So, um, you know, I think it's fairly stable.